Vanessa welcome back to my channel today is a book suggestion video because people are always wanting to know some good books that they should read so I put together a list of my favorite books their descriptions and different elements about them that might interest you into reading them the first book is Eat Pray Love by Elizabeth Gilbert I really suck at giving descriptions so I'm going to give you the book summary and then give you my review of it and different elements about it that I liked Okay. In her early 30s, Elizabeth Gilbert had everything a modern American woman was supposed to want. Husband, country home, successful career. But instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, she felt consumed by panic and confusion. This wise and rapturous book is the story of how she left behind all these outward marks of success and of what she found in their place. Following a divorce and a crushing depression, Gilbert set out to examine three different aspects of her nature set against the backdrop of three different cultures. Pleasure in Italy, devotion in India, and on the Indonesian island of Bali, a balance between worldly enjoyment and divine transcendence. What I really liked about Eat, Pray, Love was that it was a great introduction to spirituality, self-awareness, and self-love. Also, I found it really relatable, even though I have never been through a divorce or am 40 years old, obviously. Her emotional and spiritual journey I was able to relate to, and she gave a lot of really great points that she learned about herself along the way that I could identify with. Also, um, there was the travel aspect of the book. I really love to travel, so her going around the world to kind of find herself um, I found really interesting and it also goes into three different, um, not three actually, two different religious elements and finds similarities between the two. Um, it goes into um, Eastern philosophy such as Buddhism and whatnot and then ties it back to how she can apply that to her Christian faith. And then I have my notes right here. And then the main thing that I liked about the book is that it really taught you that you are in control of your own happiness and that's one of my main beliefs so this book just really opened my eyes to a lot of different realizations and teachings that different philosophies and religions have so I really like that about it okay the second book is the Tao of Wu by Riza who is the creator of Wu-Tang Clan and this is honestly one of the best books I've ever read very well written and Wu-Tang is obviously my favorite old school hip hop group. So the description is, in the Tao of Wu, the Riza, founder of Wu-Tang Clan and hip hop's most exalted wise man, imparts the lessons he's learned on his way from Staten Island projects to international superstardom. An inspiring spiritual memoir as the world has never seen before and will never see again, the Tao of Wu is surprising, brilliant, is a surprising, brilliant blend of Eastern spirituality, pop culture reverence, and hard-earned street knowledge, all delivered in Riz's unmistakable voice. The book also describes how his career path and his spiritual path were directly connected, and how he created his career path be through his spiritual beliefs, and this is also a good little introduction into the law of attraction and power of manifestation. The third book is Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso, and the description is Sofia Amoruso spent her teens hitchhiking, committing petty theft, and scrounging in dumpsters for leftover bagels. By age 22, she had dropped out of school and was broke, directionless, and checking IDs in the lobby of an art school, a job she'd taken for the health insurance. It was in that lobby that Sofia decided to start selling vintage clothes on eBay. Flash forward 10 years to today, and she's the founder and executive chairman of Nasty Gal, a $250 million plus fashion retailer with more than 400 employees. Sophia was never a typical CEO or a typical anything, and she's written Girl Boss for other girls like her, outsiders, and insiders seeking a unique path to success, even when that path is windy as all hell and lined with naysayers. Girlboss proves that being successful isn't about where you went to college or how popular you were in high school. It's about trusting your instincts and following your gut, knowing which rules to follow and which to break, when to button up and when to let your free flag fly. This book is really great because it's an entrepreneurial book for girls and guys and it has a lot of really great networking and business tips that 
are on a base level that you can apply right now to your life. Also, it's really blunt but very inspirational telling you that you can achieve, achieve your dreams but obviously you need to work towards them and to have a goal, make a plan, but most importantly take action on that plan and um, be open to adjustment along the way but never give up on your goal and that you really can, no matter who you are, achieve what you want in your life. The last book is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. And You Are a Badass is the self-help book for people who desperately want to improve their lives but don't want to get busted doing it. In this refreshingly entertaining how-to guide, best-selling author and world-traveling success coach Jen Sincero serves up 27 bite-sized chapters full of hilariously inspiring stories, sage advice, easy exercises, and the occasional swear word helping you to identify and change the self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want, create a life you totally love, and create it now, make some damn money already, the kind you've never made before. This is a really inspirational book because it's basically a step-by-step -step guide on how to get off your ass, believe in yourself, and create the life you want through positive thinking. It's really heavy on manifestation and the law of attraction, so that's a little heads up, but it really changes your attitude towards yourself, money, the world around you, and the way that your energy that you put out and the way that you think affects your life and how you can harness it and change your life for the better. That's all the books for this video, but if you'd like to see more book review videos, like and comment below and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.